the surface where the artwork will be installed must be flat and free of bumps, lumps and relief. It is necessary to make sure that the surfaces to be glued are clean, dry and degreased. In the case of gluing on metals, the oxidized surface layers must be removed through sanding and then washing using a degreasing solvent such as acetone. It is necessary to sand the fiberglass surfaces or very smooth surfaces with sandpaper. When using moist locations with walls in plasterboard, gypsum plasters, cement plasters or marine plywood, we recommend first to waterproof the surface with an easy-to-find product. To glue the panels, we recommend the use of skilled workers such as tile, marble and mosaic professional installers. We suggest the use of single component polyurethane adhesive products that are both moisture and thermal stress resistant. The adhesive must be spread evenly on the wall using a tooth spatula. The artwork can be applied in locking it by applying pressure with the palm of the hand. The panels can be easily cut at the job site following these instructions. Small and simple cuts can be done using a scoring knife blade, professional metal ruler and masking tape in order to prevent scratches on the epoxy resin on the panel. Given the fact that the panels are made of a flexible material, it will be easy to cut them simply by bending the two parts. Bigger cuts can be done using professional machinery such as the CNC router, panel saw wall systems or even better, using a table saw with a specific fine tooth laminate grade blade to prevent chipping over resin. We always advise to make all cuts on the back of the panels to prevent resin from chipping or peeling. For round cuts, such as the ones needed to install shower fixtures or any other hole that needs to be made in order to install lights or pipes, we advise the use of a hole so for metals or a regular joint.